food shortage reports, and more price increases at the grocery store here for winter of 2023 and into 2024. Let's discuss. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano and Frank, the Bald Eagle. Tonight, we are drinking the 8 o'clock coffee, nice smooth coffee, to get us through this coffee rant this evening. So, if you have to hit pause to get your coffee together, whatever beverage you deem necessary, hit pause now as this will be a lengthy discussion. We have some things we do have to go over. We are getting flooded with more comments on shortages of sugar. And I know a lot of these are the same, but as we come across them, we try to bring out maybe some of the urgency as to where you may want to get some, whether the price is what it is or not. We've gotten some comments on powdered sugar, uh, granulated sugar, cane, cane sugar, all of it. It seems like all of it. We're getting uh, a lot of our viewers from Michigan, Pennsylvania, some of the northern states, even South Carolina. We've had a couple of viewers lately that have been talking about shortages of sugar. That could very well explain why the prices have been skyrocketing on sugar lately. We've seen significant price increases on sugar over the last couple months. Uh, we were seeing sugar prices tail each other in every store. So we know by that account that it is not just one store over inflating the price. It is an issue. It's becoming a greater issue. We are also getting more comments on shortages of beef. Um, we had gotten a couple comments from some people, one of our longtime viewers in Texas last week, who was talking about shortages of beef. Now, depending on where you live, I guess, uh, some people are seeing some shortages, some people aren't. It just depends on, maybe it's a transportation issue. We don't really know. We just like to bring these things out here to you as they come in. Now, we have been getting some comments of shortages of beef out in California. However, we know that in California, there are things that are kind of changing. You know, we have things like um, plant-based options that seem to be growing uh, pretty pretty big in California. So that could be part of the reason. I've even read some articles where they're saying that beef will be uh, in very short supply here in the next few years. And we will be, uh, I read something that was kind of funny and who knows if it's true or not, you know, who knows, but talking about plant-based options being uh, the main thing here in the next few years, edible insects. Sorry if that hits you wrong, but I couldn't believe when I saw that. I'm like, no, 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 I'm good. I'm no, no chocolate crickets for me. Um, but these are things that we have to look, we have to look towards. I also read an article, uh, it's, it's been a little while, but they were talking about the, uh, shortages of beef coming in 2024. That's going to drive the prices up. What has been 177, uh, billion pounds, right? 177 billion uh, is expected for 2024. 185 billion was what the current of 2023 is. So that's a significant drop in beef. There's a lot of things that have been affecting the prices of this though. Farmers having to sell off their cattle early because of different things that have happened over the last couple of years. Uh, we know what some of those events are, but a lot of it has been price increases. Price increases are on everything now. We are seeing things, we are getting comments for me to check out other things, which we do plan. We cover mostly food on the channel here because it, it, everything happens so fast, guys. It's like every day there's more things going up in price in the grocery store. So we have to try and cover these things so that we can save as much as we can now so that we save ultimately in the future. And who knows what the future holds with events going on. You know, as as we talk about with, with different things out in the Middle East and beyond and people just not getting along, we have to prepare like, like never before. I mean, in my opinion, we have to make sure that we have some food set aside in case something ever happens. You know, and I, I hate to say it like that, but, you know, we have to be prepared. And, I, you know, the time, I always get comments all the time that if you're preparing now, it's too late. It's never too late. Never. Start preparing now. Make sure that you have, you know, I always, I know some people say like, have a year's worth of food. Yeah. If you have the space to be able to do that, awesome. Right. Just make sure you're, re, you know, make sure you're cycling things out as you go along. So things don't expire on you. Um, at the same time though, I will say always be prepared a month ahead of time. If your budget allows you to, and if it doesn't, you know, and, and guys, I know, I know these times are tough. 
It's, it's crazy. It is crazy how fast things are changing. I'm going to go into a little bit of things that I've been seeing in the stores lately here toward the end of this video. Um, but, you know, we have to try and at least get to a month's worth of food supply saved up. Because like, I, like I've been saying over the last couple months, if we have that month's worth of supply, if it comes down to it, we can ration that out. And I feel like even people who are on a strict budget, hopefully you can do this. Hopefully you can because we don't know what's going to happen. And the not knowing what's going to happen is the knowing that we need to be prepared for all kinds of different situations. So a couple other food shortages that I just want to touch on here real quickly. Uh, people have been talking about corn. And I'm wondering, because there's been a lot of canned corn that apparently has been missing. Not so much around here. We're, we are seeing less. But this could also be that people are planning ahead. A and that's awesome. It, you know, if that's the case, awesome. But we have to remember, too, that everyone could be planning ahead as well. You know, as we get kind of locked into these events overseas and all this different conflict and everything going on, a lot more people, I feel, are becoming aware and making sure that they've got food set aside to feed their families, you know. And, um, you know, the, the sugar thing, just, I, I keep getting flooded on old videos, uh, some of the old videos that we've done, comments on those, even some of our newer ones. Um, the beef shortages uh, are far and few between. I go to the store. I don't see many shortages. When I go back to the store, like, it, I have seen quite a few, okay? But I do this, like, two-week thing, okay? Like, if I see something missing, like, I notice everything. If I see, like, sirloin missing one week, okay, I try to take two things into consideration. One, was it on sale the week before? Was it a huge sale, okay? And then if it wasn't, then I keep in mind that, okay, there's no, there's no sirloin here. And this is just an example, okay? It could be ribeye, it could be T-bone, it could be anything, which T-bones are hard to find. I'm surprised Meyer gets those in a lot. I don't, I don't know how they're working that out, but kudos to them. Um, but when I go back that second week, okay, and I realize, well, okay, maybe your truck didn't come. And, and the second week, I may say something about it, but by the third week, and this is why we do these videos every day to keep you in the know of everything going on. If I go back that third week and I don't see any sirloin, then it's become an issue. And then it, it will come back. It will come back. But watch the price. Watch the price. We're seeing meat go up like crazy again. Everywhere. Meyer, Walmart, you name it. Kroger. I mean, everywhere. Even our local mom and pop places have raised their prices. So much to the point to where it's like, oof, boy, I don't know. I mean, I know they're trying to stay afloat, and I'll continue to support them. But I'll tell you what, me and Jess went there, or I went there the other day. The prices are getting a bit outrageous, a bit outrageous. And I, I still support them, you know, but I'll tell you what, it's getting harder and harder to do that. And I, I, I can only assume that it's really hurting their business. Now, to be fair, there were a lot of people in there. <laughs> so it's good to see that we have some of our neighborhood here supporting our local mom and pop stores. And that's what we need to be doing. If you can afford it, that's a good way to help support your local community. Also, if you can afford it, next week is Thanksgiving. Um, if you know someone in need, if you know somebody that needs help and you have a little bit extra, a lot of the food banks apparently are suffering right now. I know the one here in Cincinnati is. Uh, I read something, you know, and I... Again, any of this stuff that I read in some of these articles, I, I just don't know. After the whole thing the other day where there was a bunch of false information on the internet, I'm careful what I put out there. However, I did hear the CEO of the Cincinnati Food Bank talk about this on the radio, and I love his passion. This guy loves people, and it's amazing. Part of it kind of reminded me of me. I love people. You know, I do. That's how I'm able to, to do what I do. But anyway... Uh, I have read in one of those articles that it's the feed 10,000 families. Could you imagine having to feed 10,000 families? I thought about that for a second. And that's just one city. One city. 
and they're struggling to do that. So donations to Cincinnati Food Bank are very welcome, um, and, and support your local community, guys. You know, there's a lot of people that are hurting. I hear, I hear stories all the time when I'm in these stores, you know, covering the prices and everything. People come up to me all the time who know me from the channel saying how, you know, they can barely afford these things anymore, that they're, they're getting like a third of a cart of food that they used to, and they're paying the same daggone price. Guys, it's getting rough. It's getting rough, and, you know, we just need to pay attention. I bring these these messages and these reports to you to, to get you the information as fast as possible. Now, one of the next shortages that I want to talk about here for a minute could just be because of the holidays, but it's something we do need to talk about. Canned meats. Now, Canned meats have been in short supply. A lot of people who sent me emails, uh, someone wasn't able to get an order from Keystone Meats. I don't know. Like, you know, it's just, I, I know around the holidays, Keystone has issues with their shipping because so many people order from them and they're not like this giant, huge company, right? It, and it's great quality and it lasts for years in your cupboard. You know, I mean, there's a lot of things that factor into Keystone Meats. Now, we have seen some of the prices go up on them lately, but more uh, bigger issues is that people... Some Now, it was just one person who said they couldn't order it, so I don't know. It could have been anything, but we've seen issues like this in the past. We've seen issues in the past where people weren't able to get their orders from Keystone Meats, or it was like months later. Um, I always say, in that kind of scenario, try to order from Walmart. Okay, Walmart in Cincinnati and most of Ohio, if not all of Ohio, some in Kentucky and in Indiana, anywhere in the tri-state area here, they sell Keystone meat. So if you can order online, maybe through one of these stores, or if you have Walmart Plus or something, you might be able to get a deal. I know some people have even had trouble getting the Keystone with that issue. So you can try it, but it's not guaranteed. But what is these days? Nothing's guaranteed. But what I... What I would say, I did this about a year ago, and I placed an order with Keystone Meats, and mine was turned down. Like, they didn't, ha well, it wasn't that they didn't have it, but they said that uh, some about uh, supply, shipping, something like that, it was going to be like 60 days. However, I tried a few days later, and it worked. Okay, so that's something else you can do. If it's telling you that the order's um, going to take forever, basically, don't place it. And then try it in a couple days. Because what I think happens is that either they weren't sure how much they were able to produce or people are canceling orders. And toward the holidays, that isn't such a bad idea to do those kind of things. Because if you order around the holidays, you know, people are canceling orders. A lot of people don't have money. Keystone Meats is very expensive. It really is. Even if, And if you order online through them, the shipping is going to cost you. It's going to cost. It's because it's heavy. It's going to cost you a little bit of money. So maybe try and work out maybe some different coupons if you can like that. But wanted to touch on that for a second. Some other canned meats that we're seeing go up in price is pretty much everything. I mean, canned chicken. We're starting to see Swanson chicken go up in price in other stores. We've seen Kroger have it at $5.99. I don't think that price will ever change. It has been $5.99 for a 12.5 ounce can for the last year and a half. Well, a little over a year, which is ridiculous. But And it's cheaper anywhere else, but we're seeing it start to go up at Meijer, uh, Walmart, um, Brookdale. Brookdale uh, canned chicken is fantastic. And if you are on a very tight budget and you are going day to day here or week to week, you can go into, you can get Brookdale, you can get a few cans of it for $9. $9. Brookdale, in my opinion, is better than Swanson anyway. However... If you have or know someone that has a Sam's Club membership or Costco, somebody was telling me Costco the other day, I wasn't sure of the price because these fluctuate a lot, especially this time of year. Okay, Kirkland brand is under 13. Somebody told me it was $12.99. I guess it's $12.99. I haven't checked, but I do know Members Mark is just under $13 as well for six cans. And Members Mark is our favorite. I gotta say though, I really do like the Brookdale products from Aldi. Uh, they're usually, they're, they're top notch in my opinion. Uh, the Brookdale, um, the, uh, corned beef, really good, really good. Um, that's another thing that's been going up in price too, like corned beef and hash and stuff like that. Uh, we noticed Manwich, you know, the cheapest 
product on earth as far as canned meats go is going up in price. Hormel has been going up in price. All of these canned meats are going up in price, causing, and we're seeing shortages, right? We've been getting comments on shortages of these, and I think it all ties together, guys. It all ties together. Shortages of beef, right? Things that are going into these products, are, it's in short supply. We're seeing less and less, and the prices are going up. I mean, it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of the same rule with everything. Supply and demand will cause prices to go up because they have to make their money too, even though they are. But, you know, it, it just, it gets passed down to the consumer, guys. Always gets passed down to us and we are the ones that suffer. You know, and, and I, I say that in the in the kindest way possible because, you know, there really isn't any way. You know, I try to be the optimist in a lot of different things. And these days, well... You know, I mean, those of you who've been around since the beginning of the channel here know that, you know, I, I'm still, I'm still some of that way. I think things will get better at some point. Do I think prices are going to go down? Uh, maybe on some things, but not a lot. You know, we see good deals on things and then the very next week or two, we see them go up in regular price. So hopefully you're one of the ones that have paid attention to some of what we're doing and buy up these prices as we see them. I was happy that so many of our viewers had got those uh, Kroger canned vegetables, beans. Some people don't like Kroger canned vegetables. I, I hear you. I, I'm not a huge fan, but for that price, I couldn't pass it up. Um, <clears throat> and if you notice, the canned vegetables at Kroger, they are pretty full. I know we get a lot of complaints. You know, people, you know, I do the earthquake test. You know, I take them happy harvest. Like, whoa, it's a lot of water in there. Or great value. That, that's a lot of water, you know. But I, you do find good ones that way, though. I've found both. Great value and happy harvest. Uh, you can find cans that are more full. You just listen for the less water swishing around in there. It's it's pretty pretty simple. Might take you a little while, but hey. You know, and don't shake it to death. All you got to do is a little shake in your ear. And, you know, that's, that's how I... That's how I buy them. I make sure I'm getting the most vegetables for my buck. Right? In the... Uh, in the can there. And thank you to our viewers who turned me on to this 8 o'clock coffee. It has become, it's really good. It took me a little while to get used to, but it is really good. And it's been on sale lately in a lot of different stores. I've seen it on sale for $4.99 at Kroger and Meyer for a couple weeks. So and I do believe it's still on sale at Kroger this week. What is today? Friday. So yeah, it'll be on sale until Tuesday. Also at Meyer, So good deal. Um, and I do believe the pods are on sale as well. I make pods of coffee. Um, I'll do the pods every now and then when I get a good deal on them, but you know, I like to mix it up some, um, let's see a couple of the other ones. I, so we had some issues with butter. Okay. Uh, we got a couple comments. Uh, I'll tell you what I've said it a thousand times, Michigan. I feel sorry for you guys. Uh, and we've been getting a lot of comments from some viewers in South Carolina on some shortages too. Um, not on butter, but we did get from a couple of our longtime viewers. We're talking about shortages on butter at Walmart. Okay. Now I'm not surprised because some of these prices are still catching up. I will say Walmart though, when things go up at Walmart, they seem to go up in every store all across the country. I remember when I was at Walmart and when we were in Florida a couple months ago, and we initially saw the 10 pound bags of sugar go up to 728 from 688. It was the same price everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, it might be a little more on like East and West Coast just because I, I don't I don't even know how. Oh boy, some of those prices. Um and it may be a little different, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It seems like pretty much everywhere on those kind of items, they they go up to the same price. Well, now we just saw them go up to 768, right? Another huge price increase. But I was in Florida and then came back here. It was like the prices went up at the same time. As a matter of fact, I had some people here that were telling me that the prices went up. So I knew it ahead of time. And thank you to all who mentioned that for me. Um, but butter, we saw butter going down. It's going back up. It's going back up. And, you know, if you're seeing shortages of butter, this is what's going on, right? Uh, thank you to everyone who was talking about the different milk prices. Sounds like some people's milk was kind of staying the same. Ours is going up. It keeps going up. 
Um, and there's been a lot of places. I know someone was mentioning a store out in Indiana that you frequently shop at that your milk has been skyrocketing as well. So I don't know, maybe close in the Midwest here. I know a couple years ago when we were seeing these major price increases, I felt like it was all imploding from the, uh, from the middle of the Midwest, right? I mean, it was all, it was, it was exploding from within and expanding out. You know, we were seeing these things originally before anybody else did. It was crazy how it was kind of working. It was like it all started here in Ohio with all of these huge price increases and things disappearing. A lot of different things for that, though. You know, we were having some transportation issues. We were having employee problems, which we still are years later, right? I mean, I will say I was OK. So we're going to talk a little bit about what I saw at Dollar Tree yesterday or what I didn't see. Okay, because there's some questions. Um, some people are talking about, you know, and the reason why I make it an issue is to make sure it doesn't become a bigger issue. I have never been into a Dollar Tree before and not found toilet paper. Like, it's been low at times, but there's always one or two. And I'm looking around, there's employees, there, there's like five people working there. For Dollar Tree, that's pretty good. And, you know, there's like three or four people putting away stuff. Really nice. Where I love our Dollar Tree. I do. And if there was toilet paper, it would be on the shelves. And if you saw the video, if you didn't see the video, it was the video we just did before this one. So go check it out. Um, you can go to our video playlist and it should be right behind this video coming out tonight. Um, but guys, I'm telling you, I've never seen Dollar Tree like that, especially at ours. So, and I know I, I asked for some people to talk about, you know, what they're seeing or not seeing. Or not. Some people are saying there's Dollar Trees are full. Some people are saying theirs look the same. You know, so I don't know if this is something coming, but I want to get this information out to you if you are a frequent shopper at Dollar Tree. We have thousands of people on our channel who shop at Dollar Tree, and that's why I'm making this an issue. Cleaning products, very bare. Lot, no bleach, none. I don't think I've ever walked into a Dollar Tree and not seen any bleach either. Even during the entire pandemic. You, could, you couldn't find bleach and cleaners and stuff. Boom, they had it. That's That was really weird. Toilet paper and bleach. Two products that people buy by the... Who knows how much. A lot. At Dollar Tree. Gone. Completely gone. Now there's a couple... And, and not just bleach. I mean, clean. you guys saw it. If you didn't see it, check the video out. I'm, I show it all. I'm not just sitting here telling you. I show you everything, okay? Because, you know, I, I want to make sure that everything that we're looking at, right? Because seeing is believing. So if you see it, you know, it's that's it. What do we take from all this? Well, there's a couple things. Could be trucking issues. Could be um, they're just not getting the products. I don't know. We'll go back to Dollar Tree in a couple weeks and see if it's been refilled. But this whole two-week thing that I talk about when trying to find sirloin and not finding it for two weeks seems a little different than not, trying, not finding ch the cheapest toilet paper on earth <coughs> or the cheapest bleach on earth. Cleaning products gone. Toothpaste, not gone, but very few. And let's talk about the food here for a second because this is what we mostly focus on. I want to tell you lots of stuff missing. Now, I couldn't really pin it as I was going through the store yesterday, but there were a lot of gaping holes, and not just gaping holes that you may have noticed. I tried to pan out a little bit so you can maybe figure it out. I didn't really talk about it too much, but the uh, all the Campbells, right, that we saw, all the Campbells, and still missing parts. That's where the Campbells usually is. We saw on the other side a completely whole other set of Campbells. That is unusual for Dollar Tree. That tells me they're not getting some products in because they're moving these things to other side to make the shelves look good. And at our Dollar Tree, they do do their best to make the shelves look good and full. But it's weird when you look and you see an entire Campbell's aisle with a lot missing. And, and let's not forget that a lot more people are shopping at Dollar Tree now because prices are getting ridiculous in all the other stores. But there was a lot of like pre-made rice that we didn't see. We didn't see any of the Savi Fair white rice. That is always there. Uh, only a couple bags of dry beans, which beans, dry beans have been getting expensive. And we have shortages of dry beans. That's another food shortage we've uh, a lot of people have been talking about on the channel. Not being able to find uh, beans in a lot of different stores. 
And it's either that or the prices are getting too expensive to, to spend on it. I almost said waste, but boy, don't waste anything these days. Nothing, you know. Anyway, so I'm going on through Dollar Tree, and I'm looking around, and then we see the T5, right? Which I know some of you love. We get mixed reviews on that. Um, but they had a huge section of two Vive. I've never seen that much to Vive at Dollar Tree. They had one section, kind of like the Campbell's. They had one section on one side. And then the other side, they had another huge section, meaning what goes here. I didn't see any breads. I didn't see any other bagels. None of that. The modern pantry milk and most of the almond milk was gone, right? And, and are people stocking up on these things? Very likely, very likely. But, you know, and as far as condiments, yeah, you know, I mean, ketchup was low. They had plenty of mustard. And some of the other things, like their A1 that I love, <laughs> I mean, $1.25, you know, it's pretty good. Um, and it is the thick and hearty, though. Not the I like the original better, but for $1.25, I'll take the thick and hearty. Probably add a little bit of water in it, just thin it out, and probably be just the same. No, don't do that. Um, spices were low, but again, we got to take it into everything in consideration that it's the holidays. People are stocking up on these spices. Um, more green giant there than I expected to see. I'll say that for a dollar twenty-five, it's not worth it. And have have you guys noticed that since the sales have stopped on Green Giant, that it's been coming back in? Have you noticed that when they were selling the forty-nine cent cans a couple weeks ago, they were you couldn't find them, and and, and you can't say that this was oh it's because everybody was buying them up. No, I was at Kroger. I've been to multiple Kroger's on the first day, the first day, the first day I was in Tennessee and I was checking at their Kroger. They're gone. They got the 49 cent cans. They got the, there was one or there, there was a little pile of corn, right? That I found in a bin, but I mean, that could have been gone that night, but we, at, that was at the start. There was, there's been shortages of green giant, whatever's causing it. Somebody said they're merging with some other company. I couldn't find anything on that. I'm not really sure. Let me know down in the comments if you know. Um, but again, I tried. I did a little bit of research. Couldn't find anything. So I don't know if they're just keeping that hidden. Or I don't know. Very well could be. These days, who knows? But um, I will say uh, that since, since that, since they're no longer on sale, and they could still be on sale at Kroger. I know. No, it's not. No, it's not because that sale ended. The buy six or more ended. They had brought them down to 69 cents. Uh, however they did, but that sale must have ended. I don't, they could be back up to $1.25 at Kroger. I don't know. We'll have to check next week. Anyway, I'm not going to keep going on about Green Giant. I just, we saw some at um, Dollar Tree. Now the Del Monte Harvest Vegetables, uh, $1.25. We're finding better deals on Del Monte. But did you see how few there were? For that price on those kind of canned goods, I don't know. If I was someone who I had to shop at Dollar Tree, if I was on a day-to-day -day budget, a week-to-week -week budget, I always say that people who are on these kind of budgets are, are some of the know-how to save because you have to, right? I wouldn't be buying them at Dollar Tree. I would go across the street to Kroger and get them for a dollar, right? I mean, we have, you know, I understand a lot of people don't have that luxury to just walk across the street and go to a different store, but... If you drive, or even if you ride public transportation or the bus, you're going to save ultimately by going to that other place. Another reason why we do these videos every day to keep you in the know of all these different prices. Maybe save you 2 or $3 from buying those, all those cans at Dollar Tree of uh, Green Giant or Del Monte. <sighs> Guys, I'll tell you what. You know, I, it, it's, it's getting rough. It's getting rough, but we will get through this. Uh, we'll get through it together. Thank you for all of our wonderful viewers on the channel here. We love, thank you so much for your support. All your kind words and everything give me the motivation to do this every day for you guys. Um, and it, it really is. It's, it's something we have to keep track of every day so that we make sure that we're staying ahead of the game. We have to stay ahead of what's going on. Make sure that you are preparing um, preparing for whatever reason, you know, always a good idea to have a month's worth of food if your budget, uh, allows you to. And if not, keep doing what you're doing and we'll keep trying to save you as much money as we can because I try, I look for all. Okay. 
uh, whether it's you just want to see produce, whether you want to see meat products, whether you want to see going on in the store, shortages, price increases, stuff like that, microwave meals, candy bars, doesn't matter. If you ask me to check on the candy, I will check on the candy because I can't cover everything in every video. I can't stay at Kroger's for three or four hours covering everything going on that day. Um, but yes, let me know down in the comments any kind of shortages that you are seeing. Remember to give it that two-week lapse if you've seen. Now, if it's empty, yes. And actually, anything. If you're noticing anything. And I know we've had millions of comments on sugar, but if you're if you're new uh, and you've gone to the store and you're not seeing sugar, uh, I, no sugar at Dollar Tree yesterday either. They had the powdered sugar and the light brown sugar. They always have that. I don't think anybody buys it because you can ultimately get that cheaper. But I don't, you know, I don't know now. $1.79 for two pounds at Kroger until the first of the year. So, and I'm glad that they did that price. They did raise the regular price in between that though. So we'll have to see. I don't know. They've kept it at $1.79 though. So if you use a lot of powdered sugar for the holidays, stuff like that, you may want to buy some up at Kroger. That's a good deal. Now, hopefully they keep some of their good deals going. We've seen things go back up in price at Kroger, and we are seeing some things uh, go up in regular. But we're seeing bread for whatever reason, and we know the reasons, right? You know, there's so many different things going on with grains and wheat and everything all around the world. I, I remember a lot of people were saying that this wasn't going to affect us. And, and you know... There could be other reasons of why it's affecting us, but I say it all the time. Everything has a domino effect. You know, we we trade and get stuff from all around the world, and everything affects all of us from around the world. What is affecting you in, in Germany, Australia, Canada? We have a lot of viewers in all three of those countries. Australia, Canada, Germany, all around the world, guys. All around the world. And, um, you know... The UK, if I left you out, I apologize. I mean, we have so many, it's it's awesome. We are covering prices from around the world and don't think it is just here in America either because we're getting comments from some of our longtime viewers in Germany too where prices are getting ridiculous. Canadian prices are just, I you know, I don't, I, I don't even know what to say. I, we, I feel like if, if those prices were down here, we, we would be in serious trouble. Um, Ways to save in Canada. I, you know, I know that you guys have some of your value stores as well and stuff like that. We would probably all be shopping at some of these. Um, I don't, and nothing's a dollar anymore, but <laughs> you know, we would all be. I know the UK has Poundland, Poundland, but apparently all that stuff, some of them are closing from what I hear. Um, and it's something else that nothing is a dollar. Or, you know, I'm not sure with exchange rates and stuff like that, but, you know, hopefully some of the prices you can still get by. I, everybody around the world is struggling. Some Australian prices, too, from some of our longtime Australian viewers. Whew, some prices on produce. My goodness. I mean, it's it's crazy, guys. It really is. And everything all around the world, not just here in America, is going up in price. We all need to pay attention. We all need to work together. And we will continue to do so uh, as we go along here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.